Imagine having the same you, same name, same appearance, same characteristics, just in another world. A world so similar to ours, yet so different at the same time. In today's video, we will investigate if another Earth and another you exist in an infinite multiverse. Parallel dimensions, alternate universes, alternate realities, or even a multiverse just like in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It comes with different names, but shares one compelling concept. Some might consider it one of those fascinating yet absurd products of science fiction, but that will likely change soon, as scientists might have evidence that parallel universes actually exist. Where does the idea for an infinite number of realities come from? The idea of having parallel universes sparks the wildest imaginations in our heads. The awesome thought of having the same copy of you and everything that ever existed in another universe. And who knows, maybe in these alternate universes, the Queen of Britain hasn't died yet. Maybe the world wars never happened. Maybe you are the wealthiest man on Earth, not Elon Musk. Within these parallel dimensions, anything could possibly happen. So where did this mind-boggling theory start? To understand this, we have to go way back in time, to the time that the Roman Empire was still standing strong. Welcome to the 6th century BC, where the pre-Socratic Greek philosopher, Anaximander, first suggested the idea of infinite worlds. In his belief about the origin of the universe, he implied that the universe began from the Eperon, a Greek word which means boundless, unlimited, or infinite. He did not believe that the universe he saw had always existed. He said it had grown from a seed, sprouting into an infinite number of universes. Well, these claims of Anaximander in that time sounded ridiculous and insane. Fast forward to the 20th century. We now have another man supporting this theory, but with 2,000 years worth of scientific knowledge. We go from a Greek philosopher to a postgraduate student. In 1954, Princeton University student Hugh Everett III developed the bold idea that universes exactly alike and related to ours exist. Hugh Everett became the pioneer of the science on why parallel universes exist. Keep watching as we'll explain how this amazing theory has become a primary hope for parallel universe believers around the world. Everett's controversial Many Worlds Theory Explained it's crazy to think how a regular postgraduate student from Princeton caused a massive ripple effect in space science. A ripple that can still be felt up to this day. And it is even getting stronger. Before we dive into Hugh Everett's bizarre theory, there is one thing you should understand first, and that is the fascinating yet complicated world of quantum physics. What is quantum physics anyway? Well, it is the study of matter and energy at the most fundamental level. In simpler terms, we study the behavior of the smallest parts of matter, called subatomic particles, to level up our understanding of the true nature of matter and the universe. There's just one problem. We know so little about how these quantum particles interact with larger objects, such as humans or even planets and stars. Now why is this important to Everett's Many Worlds theory? Everett's theory suggests that a mysterious phenomenon happens every time there is a junction where everyday stuff interacts with the quantum system. Where there's a junction, the timeline splits, and both possibilities happen on different alternate branches. Let's take a simple example. Imagine you're preparing for work, and then you have the dilemma of whether you're going to work or not. Everett suggests that regardless of your decision, all of the possible outcomes of every possible decision you make will happen in every alternate universe. Unfortunately for us humans, as a three-dimensional species, we cannot navigate through these universes. We are stuck on one of the branches of the multiverse. We are a version of ourselves that only sees one possibility happening. Everett also suggests that every time subatomic particles interact with each other or interact with larger beings, branches are continuously created. Now, there's one question left. Is Everett's theory true? Let's go back to the present and investigate this evidence that scientists have recently found that proves parallel universes really exist. What they found is not just a regular parallel universe. It might be a universe where time runs backwards. Here's why there might be an insanely bizarre parallel universe. Ever since Hugh Everett's clever theory was published in 1954, it has sparked the greatest minds in the industry. 
Many remarkable scientists were inspired by this miraculous idea. It was like a floodgate waiting to be opened for over a thousand years. Many new theories followed Everett's theory, but since then, the multiverse has been regarded as a fascinating piece of science fiction. Movies such as Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, Spider-Man No Way Home, and Everything Everywhere All at Once spark our imagination about the multiverse. Despite the popularity amongst scientists and avid space fans, many are still skeptical if there's an alternate universe. They believe it is ridiculous and a waste of time to think about it, because we have no possible way to prove if it exists. Can we test whether there is a parallel universe or not? Well, it seems so. An experiment in the Antarctic region might have proven the existence of a universe beyond ours. And what's more fascinating is that time in this universe might be flowing backwards. Meet Anita. NASA's Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna uses a giant balloon to hold delicate electronics well above the cold, dry air of the Antarctic. It is a cosmic ray detection test that can find particles that might be spilling from outside of our universe into ours. Placed above the coldest region of the Earth, it is uninterrupted by radio signals that might disturb the experiment. Now, what cosmic rays does Anita try to find? This is a neutrino, nature's so-called the ghost particle, a very faint elementary particle. Elementary particles are the tiniest building blocks of everything in the universe. Scientists have proven that trillions of them are traveling around the Earth alone. But they are very small and hardly interact with other particles at all, which makes them hard to find. A neutrino is, in fact, a million times smaller than an electron. Maybe you're wondering, what does this particle have to do with parallel universes? Well, Anita's main function is to catch this particle, but as we've said earlier, it is very faint. Now, to the scientist's surprise, Anita picked up a larger, heavier particle coming from the Earth's surface called the Tau neutrino, which is significantly less faint than the original neutrino. The presence of larger particles would only imply that these particles are traveling backwards in time. How come that detecting these larger particles implies that they are traveling backwards in time? Well, smaller particles, like a neutrino, can pass directly through the Earth as they barely interact with other substances. But for larger particles, like the Tau neutrino, it is different. Higher energy objects are stopped by the Earth. Scientists claim that detecting a Tau neutrino coming from Earth implies that it must be traveling backwards in time. So what do other scientists think about this rare anomaly? Due to the detection of extremely high energy neutrinos in the Antarctic, physicists and scientists are puzzled. These tall neutrinos arrive at an angle that implies that they should have traveled through our planet, which is not expected for neutrinos that have a very high energy. So where did these neutrinos come from? From another world or from a parallel universe? Well, scientists say it is not time to celebrate yet. These things might have come from a different powerful source, like a supermassive black hole or something in the universe that we have not discovered yet. But one thing is certain, we cannot rule out the possibility that these particles indeed came from a universe outside of ours, a universe where a different version of you may be leading a different life. Lead astronomers plan to monitor these particles in the coming years to further understand their true origin. 